Well, nowadays anyone can be a musician. Maybe Sam could be a set for me. Maybe. 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 No. Okay. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Thumbfan0599 here again, and today we're going to review Coco. So, Coco stars Anthony Gomez, and what this film is basically about, it's about, you know, this aspiring musician named Miguel. And Miguel, he you know, wants to be a musician, but his family hates music. So, what he does is he enters the land of the dead, basically, and he wants to try and find his great-great-grandfather, who is also a musician. So, what did I think of Coco? Now, going into Coco, I... Hmm. I want to say that I, I wasn't necessarily too excited for it. But also, at the same time, I was, because, you know, it's Pixar and Lee Ulrich, who directed, you know, my, not only my favorite animated film of the decade, but just my favorite movie of the decade in general, Toy Story 3. So I was having some hope there with that, but at the same time, really the trailers and the marketing weren't really selling me on this movie, to be completely honest. I was just like, eh, you know, it could be good, but who knows. And this movie is fantastic. <laughs> like, this movie really is. This movie is really something special. I did really love Coco a lot. Coco is definitely a fantastic uh, animated film. Once again, Pixar knocks it out of the park with another great movie. I loved Coco so much. It's such an incredible film. But uh, let's get into why I think it's such an incredible f film. First being, of course, with the positives. And first with the positives are the voice acting. The voice acting is fantastic. And, you know, they casted all, you know, Mexicans for this movie, which I like that a lot. You know, telling like a story like this, I like that they did that with this film. And all the voice actors are great. Anthony uh, Gomez, I believe that's how you say his last name. He was great. I, I really enjoyed him as Miguel. He was really fantastic. You know, he did a really great job, you know, showing emotion and really bringing, um, you know, a lot to his character. And he did a very solid job. I thought he was really good in the movie. The guy who plays actor was great. I loved him in the film. And uh, Benjamin Bratt plays um, plays uh, the famous musician in the film. Um, oh, God, I forgot the name. But, you know, he plays the very famous musician that he looks up to and everything. And he was great. I really enjoyed him from what... He was in, you know, the film and all that. He was great. So, yeah, the voice acting is really fantastic in the movie. I thought everyone did a really solid job. The animation, of course, like with all Pixar movies, even the not-so-great ones, the animation is still great. I still love the animation with this film. It's really fantastic. I do love the animation with Coco. It looks really great. I love the atmosphere that they build with, like, the Land of the Dead and stuff like that. I really do like what they do with the animation in this movie really makes you invest into this world the characters look great so yeah the animation is really fantastic with coco i do love the animation it's really beautiful to look at you know i do really think the animation is really fantastic with this movie like i said it's pixar you're gonna get some great animation with the movies so yeah um the music is fantastic i love the music like this and baby driver like are up there for best soundtrack for me. I love the music in this movie. It's so beautiful. It's so great. Really fits with the tone of the movie really fantastically. I love the music in this movie. Remember Me better win best original song at the Golden Globes and at the Oscars if it does get nominated. It really deserves it because yeah, not only just that song, but the rest of the music in general really is fantastic. I really do think the music is great with Coco. It really fits with the scenery of the movie very, very well. I really do think the music works 100% in this movie. I love the music with this film. I love the emotion that this movie brings. Because I figured the movie was going to have emotion. It did seem like that in the trailer. But it just it didn't really work for me in the trailers. I was just like, uh, this kind of just 
feels forced. I'm really not too sure how it's going to work in the movie, and it works excellent in the movie. The emotion, you are so emotionally invested into this film. You really are. Like, I really do think you are really emotionally invested in Coco. I love the emotion in this film, especially towards the last act of the movie. Of course, no spoilers, but my god almighty, definitely one of the most emotional endings and, like, third acts of, like, the entire year. Seriously, I really did think how they handled the emotion and everything like that it was really fantastic and really made me care, honestly. And that's why I like they, made, they developed these characters to really make me care for them and really make me invested in their emotion, you know, in the more emotional moments of the film. And they do a really great job with that in the film. And whenever we do get to, like, those emotional moments and stuff like that, it does work. And I do care because I am invested in these characters. And it does work, uh, work really well with that in the movie. And the writing is really fantastic. The writing is excellent with this movie. It definitely has some great, a great screenplay to it. The dialogue with all the characters are really fantastic. Also, this movie is really funny. I forgot to mention that. There are some moments in this film that are very funny. I was like, you know, like I, there were some points where I was really laughing hard. Like, there are some moments in this movie that are pretty funny. So, yeah. Uh, the directing is great. Uh, the way uh, Lee... Ulrich really directs this movie is really fantastic. The dude, the dude's a master. I mean, seriously, he knows what he's doing. First, what he did with Toy Story 3, and now what he's doing with this movie, it's fantastic. I love how he takes the direction, how he really, you know, like I said, he really builds these characters, really makes you invest in these emotional moments. He does a really fantastic job with that, and I really like how Lee Ulrich does that in this movie. And his directing was fantastic with the film. I thought he did an excellent job. Um, you know, the pacing was really good too for the most part. I will say that I was very invested in the movie. The movie's like an hour and 45 minutes, I think. And it's really fantastic. I love... Um, this movie does move at a nice natural pace for the most part. I did really feel invested into the story. So, yeah. Now, the only negative that I do have with Coco is that... There were some points in the movie where I did feel it rushing a bit. Um, I don't know if anyone else is going to really agree with me on that. But th there were some moments at times where I did feel the movie was rushing a bit. I was like, okay, you could slow it down just a little bit, you know. But like I said, the pacing for the most part is really good. But there are times in the film where I did feel it was rushing a little bit. I was like, you know, you could take your time a little bit more. You don't need to rush, rush things, you know. You can... You can take your time with some stuff, but there were, there were some times where I did feel the movie was just rushing just a bit. But besides that, I really did think Coco was a fantastic movie. Definitely took me by surprise of how amazing it was. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really love this movie a lot. This is definitely a fantastic film. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better than Inside Out or Toy Story 3 like I've seen some other people say. But I will say it is a fantastic movie. I did love it a lot and it deserves all the praise it's getting because yeah it's pretty fantastic so it's time for my official grade on coco and my official grade on coco is an a it's an amazing movie you definitely need to check out coco it is a fantastic movie definitely i am having a struggle if i like this more than the lego batman movie like this they're going head to head with each other because they're both amazing in their own ways but what I do know for sure is that this movie is fantastic, and it's a movie you should go out and see. It is amazing. I loved it. So, so great. Definitely deserves an A. So, if you have seen Coco, what did you think of it? Leave in the comment section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we will see you all later. Peace.